16 years ago, I'm at a wedding and I meet the head designer for Sage. I pitched this idea of doing a range of appliances with Aboriginal art on them. You know, it's a way of sharing Aboriginal stories with the world. And he loved the idea. So when I get home, we exchange a few emails, but for whatever reason, it didn't go anywhere. 14 years later, no way he calls me out of the blue. After all those years, and says he wants to explore the idea. How cool is that? And that idea really stuck with me all those years because it's such a good idea. And I thought, you know, we're ready now for this. And I think Australia and the rest of the world are ready. So it's time for us to get the people and resources together and really make this happen. Now, most people don't know that we're an Australian company, but when we were thinking about putting pattern and decoration on our products, we thought, what's more Australian than Aboriginal culture? And that's where the concept for this range was born, bringing together the best of ancient storytelling and contemporary Australian design. We needed to work out how to take an artwork and reproduce it onto production products. There's so many ways that we could do this that would end badly, that that's what kept me up at night. Eventually we realised we were going to have to engage with an actual artist to see what would work and what wouldn't work. And that's when we met Bibi Barber. I was so excited to get the call from the team to come in and work on this project. It's been an incredible opportunity and as an artist for many years I've worked on canvases but now working in design is truly fascinating. I had to paint on these appliances to see what works and what doesn't work. The process with BB was extremely valuable because we realised that painting onto a canvas which was glued to an appliance was not going to work. The scan was picking up too much of the canvas texture and it didn't look right. The only way we could do this was to invite the artist to actually paint directly onto the products. Yeah, so then we had to select the artists. Yeah, which was a daunting task because, you know, there's so many amazing Aboriginal artists to choose from in Australia. Yeah, I think we made such good choices. Yeah. Very happy with it. Me too. My name is Yaldi Nabangadi Nkirugura. My name is Yaldi Nabangadi Nkirugura. My name is Yaldi Nabangadi Nkirugura. My name is Lucy Simpson. I'm a Yuluroi woman and I live and work in Sydney. The artists painted onto these objects so intuitively and we were all so blown away with the results. Ultimately what we settled on was actually a process of 3D scanning where we created a, a virtual three-dimensional version of the artwork. That was quite a time-consuming complex process. To do that faithfully without changing the artwork meant we actually have quite complex lines where the, the artworks are divided up and then very meticulously brought back together by hand. What came out of that process was a decal which has to be applied individually by hand to every product. And I think that makes it all the more special. The decals are multi-layered. They have different coloured layers. They even have a depth layer. Um, the brush strokes, the translucency of thin paint. One thing we've been doing is asking members of the team to come over and pick which is the original and which is the reproduction and most of the time people get it wrong. We've had to apply an artwork that could withstand the kind of rigours of, of what these appliances go through. Boiling water, toasting bread, making sure that the colour pigments don't degrade, don't yellow, don't peel off in quite harsh environments. I guess I was nervous about really doing the stories justice um, and I'm so happy with the way it's turned out. I think we've really nailed it and I can't wait to share that with the rest of the world. As a designer, it was really exciting to be involved with this project because the process was so innovative, but personally, I just felt very lucky to be immersed in this rich culture. It was really a once in a lifetime opportunity. To see my culture presented in such a modern way is so unique. It's such a privilege to be working on this project and it really showed me how wonderful and how deep and rich my culture is. This sort of project can be very scary territory for a corporate to wander into. 
And I'm just so proud of the way that we've been able to engage with community and actually bring this product range to life. This is a massive team effort and a labour of love from so many people. It sounds like a simple idea, but to witness the amount of energy and creativity that the team put into this, the passion and culture that's gone into this beautiful range, for me, 